Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a video comparison between the G7X and more of you know a test footage video of the Canon G7X and the Canon 110 um, HS, the PowerShot 110 HS, which is the camera that you're looking at right now that I used to do all of my vlogging on. I got this G7X, which is what you're watching right now, as an upgrade just for the vlogs, not just for the vlogs, but also for this channel in case I want to have a secondary camera um, that's just nice and portable or just something I can take out on the go that produces great quality pictures and video, but it's not a big thing to lug around like a T3. T3i or a Canon X-A20. And so in this video, we're gonna be shooting different scenarios, different lighting, um, outside, inside, showing you guys the different shots and the comparisons between the G7X and the 110 HS. And all both the cameras are gonna be running auto, not messing with any of, the, any of the settings. It'd be as if somebody just picked it up and they're just going. We're gonna try different lighting, um, how fast they can focus, and just different stuff. And um, obviously you can hear the differences between the microphone and yeah, so let's get further into it. Obviously you've seen the studio lighting test, so let's try some other stuff. So you're seeing my wall. We're gonna see how fast this G7X can pull focus and be focused on my face. And there we go. It looks like it might've just been a focus in general. But the one issue I've had with the 110 is that it's constantly pulling focus and it's always, like I've recorded whole clips that are out of focus before, it's a real pain. As you can see, this 110 struggling just to focus on the wall over there. Now it's got focus somewhat. So we'll pull it over here. We'll see how long it takes to focus on me. I can't tell. It doesn't have a flip up screen, which is a huge benefit of the G7X. Because right now I have no idea what's going on with this camera. So this is what my regular studio room looks like uh, whenever I just have the regular light on. And uh, this is what you would see in the average vlog. Um, over on the vlog channel. This is the lighting that's in this room. And it looks pretty good on the G7X, which is what you're, which is what you're seeing right now. If we sw switch over to the Canon 110, um, it's not as bad. You might be able to see a little bit more graininess. graininess. And just in general throughout this video, you're gonna see that the G7X has a lot better quality than the 110. But in the low light situations is where the G7X really pulls ahead. So let's just try some other situation. So we're gonna leave this room and we're gonna do a little bit of a low light situation. Now there is no light in this hallway obviously and the bathroom is behind me and as I get further away from any light source it obviously is gonna get harder to see. And right now the G7X, um, it's probably, you know, you can definitely see some graininess. And as I'm looking at the viewfinder, um, my face is still pretty lit up, but it just doesn't look like much of a, a natural picture. And then on the G7X, I have no idea what it's gonna even look like, but I can assure you that it's probably not that pretty. And now I'm in the bathroom and it's really low light and neither of these cameras are gonna have very good quality, but at least you can see something. But I can guarantee you that the 110, it's not gonna be looking good. So let's leave and go from one color temperature to the other, which is where the 110 always seems to struggle because out here in the living room, it always makes our skin look a lot more yellow than it actually is. Um, with the G7X, from the, what I've tested with the latest vlog, um, it's a little bit better. Uh, there's still some issues where it doesn't get the color um, temperature exactly correct, but I found that it doesn't make our skin look as yellow and usually it figures it out a lot quicker than what the 110 is. But this is out in our living room where um, we vlog the other half of the time. And it's not as bright as back in the office room, but right now it's daylight, so we have some daylight coming in. But overall, you know, the camera doesn't look too bad for the G7X. And if we switch over to the 110, um, this room is where we have a lot of issues with focusing because the camera just wants to pull focus and focus on other stuff. And, you know, it finds our faces, but it seems like it always is trying to get the right focus even though it's fine. But I think because of low light out here, it just doesn't do as well. And so I'm sure you guys are tired of looking at me, so now we'll look at something else. Um, this is outside right now, and um, plenty of light for everybody to see pretty much anything that they wanna see. And both these cameras perform pretty well uh, whenever you're outside, you get good quality. Um, but obviously the G7X just has a bigger sensor and it's gonna give you a better image quality. Now these cameras are pretty much right on top of each other. Um, it looks like the uh, 110 has a little bit of a wider um, view 
and uh, with a lens. Um, the G7X is a little bit narrower, but still, you're still getting a pretty good uh, size picture. Um, there's really not much difference there. Now we are zoomed in the whole way these cameras go without going digitally because then it gets really bad. But it looks like the G7X is a little bit more shaky. And as you can see with the 110, uh, it's a pretty steady image. I'm actually kind of surprised at how steady it is when it's zoomed in this far. And so now we're back inside and I just have the regular lighting on. This is not studio lighting. And we're just going to take a look at the Olimar Amiibo here. And pretty good detail. And I'm moving the camera by hand and it's pretty smooth. The optical image stabiliza stabilization, can I say that? Is doing pretty good and it's trying to focus on him and it's really not losing focus at all. Um, some points it does because I think his little clear plastic helmet's messing the camera up. But it looks pretty good. And now we got the 110 doing the same exact thing. Looking at some video of Captain Olimar Amiibo and with his Pikmin of course. And so that's probably going to do it for this video test of the G7X and of the Canon um, PowerShot 110. They're both Canon PowerShot, but I just call this one G7X, and this one's just the ELPH 110HS, I'm pretty sure. Um, this wasn't super scientific, it wasn't super fancy, but this is honestly what I got the camera for, to do vlogging, to see how it performed and how it outperforms the 110. And the 110 has been good, not great for me for the past couple years. Um, I've had my issues with it, the autofocusing, and just the white balance, it just seems to always have trouble with it. And like it records like five minute clips in the wrong white balance. The auto um, color correcting just doesn't do that great of a job. Um, and I understand there's low light situations out in the other rooms, but you still want a camera that's gonna give you a pretty good um, white balance and adjusting color balance and all that stuff. Um, and it's just time to get an upgrade and we might still keep the PowerShot as a backup vlog camera because honestly, I'm not gonna get that much for it if I try to sell it. I've been very happy with how the G7X has performed thus far and a big thanks to Matt Gonzalez for suggesting it because I was actually looking at the RX100 line but they're just so expensive and for what I'm using this for, um, you know, I'm using it for vlogging. I don't need a super high end point and shoot but I wanted to get something that was a lot better than um, obviously the this uh, Canon camera right here and uh, one huge benefit of the G7X is, and I'm probably touching the microphone, the flip up screen. And we'll get that with the Canon 110. Now we got some cam reception going on here, but the pop up screen is an awesome feature. It just can get a little bit distracting sometimes because you just want to sit there and look at the pop up screen. Um, but the mic placement on the G7X probably could be a little bit better. Um, it's on the top of the camera, like right above the lens, like on the actual top of the camera, not on the front front face of the camera which would be nice so yeah hey that's my video hopefully this video served some purpose for somebody out there and uh, gave you an idea of the camera quality for the g7x under some studio lighting under regular lighting um, some much more daylight um, not exactly daylight lighting but these light bulbs in here completely different color temperature than out there how the camera adjusts from different color temperatures uh, how it performs in different light situations outside um, pulling focus if those shots actually worked out and actually worked. Um, if not, then you won't even see that. But uh, just an overall comparison between the G7X and the 110 HS. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content from me. And let me know if you want to see any more G7X videos. Might do some kind of review on the camera. Um, probably will. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, something different though, just to mix things up. And make sure you also follow me on all my social links are down in the description below. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.